So it's a brand new tsunami, but the mission objectives remain the same. My name is Tom. I'm the new Moltar. Welcome aboard the Ghost Planet Spaceship Absolution, Cartoon Network's first and only interstellar broadcast and exploration vehicle. I'll give you the tour later. From this day forward, she is completely responsible for all tsunami transmissions. I'm taking you guys into the new millennium. No big changes now, same show, same attitude. New place to do it, new guy to do it with. I'm not gonna waste any more time, let's get back into it. Later. I got your consequences right here. All right, you alien chumps, you in my town. And nobody gets directed. Um, except for me. We need Megas to avert an alien invasion in the far future. Surrender the stolen warbot. We vaporize this city. How do you like old-fashioned real reality? <laughs> Chicks dig giant robots. have wreaked havoc throughout the quadrant, terrorized multiple life forms, decimated planets. Yet you have shown no remorse. My only remorse is that I can't destroy your planets again. Order! Order! Yes! Cower in fear! Your screams are music to me! I hereby sentence you to eternity, imprisoned with the lowest scum of the universe! Imbeciles! No prison can hold me! This one can. What? You fool! I shall avenge myself on you! All of you! Looks like you won't be killing any planets for a long, long time, Gurkek. Oh, cool! I never played this one! Show me what you got! Doesn't fit into any game console. Doesn't fit, huh? I got away with these things. <laughs> if I can't get a video game to work, there's no way you can. I think I know a little more about video games than you and just about anybody on this planet. Or any planet. Do not do too. I've played video games you've never even heard of. Skeleton Racer. Huh. High Score Champ. Flam Factory 5. Importer Domestic Edition. Demolition Derby Dunces. Played it this morning. Love those Lerps. Seven. Those cheesy little orange elves from that preschool show? Uh, no. Ha! 
in your face. I win. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh yeah, you win. Don't listen to him, my precious. Check this out. Hey, Kiva, looking for some new threads? Because I could help you out. You? Help me? Yeah. This. Nice, huh? <laughs> or this. This is what people wear in your time? Just the really, really cool people. Just a bug for the only video game I never play. Rock on! Yeah, and only three bucks to make Kiva look like an idiot. Perhaps I should wear some less conspicuous clothing. I understand I can purchase more clothes at something called the mall. The mall? I hate the mall. Dude, why didn't you bring Magus? We could have had some fun. No way, man. I got me a game to play. And you volunteered for Kiva Duty. Kiva Duty? What's that? Nothing. You guys have fun shopping for chick stuff. I'll be enjoying my new video game. See ya! It is attractive, but no good to me in a firefight. Yeah, that's funny. And this khaki stuff is comfortable, but will it offer the protection of Tritanium Refractive Armor? Sure it will. I don't think you understand. Look, you gonna buy this stuff or what? Excuse me? Thanks for your help, Jamie. Hey, at least I didn't get us kicked out of the mall. This time. Let's get back. Coop, come in. Coop, do you read me? Coop! Guess we have to walk back. Ooh, a fighting game! Sweet! Let's see. I choose who's the scariest, most dangerous guy. You will rule the day you met Kirkick the Planet Killer! Ugh, rule the day. Who talks like that? I'm gonna beat you down just for talking all weird, fancy pants! This game's lame. Could have bought some jerky instead. Solid ground beneath me once more. Think I'll destroy it. Oh. They think their interdimensional prison can deplete my power? Not for long. Hey, pal. I was gonna fix that. This is my town, you reckon? Megas XLR will return in a moment. Attention, Earth and Drakes! Surrender the stolen war pot! I'm 
tsunami. 35 minutes to this junction, 45 on the express lane. Over the Gilbert Freeway, there's an overturn horse trailer, which is causing big problems. So if you are heading. To Fruit Streamers and three fun flavors. They just want to have fun. Where is everybody? Didn't you hear? At Chuck E. Cheese's Summer of Fun, any game of rides one token. Gee, kids even get one token free walking in. <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese's Summer of Fun. It's really funny. Power up and play through the baby saga with Dragon Ball GT Transformation, the most powerful team of GT warriors ever assembled. It takes Dragon Ball to a higher level. I said higher level, not high enough. What is this, band camp? Now we're talking bigger, faster, way more powerful. Dragon Ball GT Transformation, available now. Rated E10 for ages 10 and up. Polly Pocket's new totally beautiful jewelry maker. Totally beautiful. Totally you. Totally beautiful. It's totally new. Step one, get your colors activate. Step two, it threads your beads. Let's create. Three, add charms and flair. It's easy totally making jewelry beautiful. to wear and share. So much to do. Totally beautiful. What can you do? Totally beautiful. It's totally you. New Polly Pocket Totally Beautiful Jewelry Maker. Batteries not included. Jewelry kits each sold separately. Polly. Polly. Are you one of the cheesiest kids in America? Kraft Macaroni and Cheese wants to know. If so, your face could land on a famous blue box. Just show your love for Kraft Mac and Cheese in writing, in artwork, or in video. Twelve cheesy winners will get their face on the box. A trip from Fort Orlando and more. See specially marked boxes for details or you can write here. Many will enter, a few will win. The cheesiest kids in America contest from Kraft Macaroni and Cheese. Sure, it's the cheesiest. Are you? Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the video game, is your golden ticket to the tremendous, marvelous Willy Wonka Factory. Come along for a delicious adventure and win Wonka's amazing factory. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the video game, rated everyone. Mm. This is my demented drink lab. Makes lots of gross things that taste great. Drink lab refills that you keep on making gobs of ghastly mm. goodies over and over again. Dr. Grateful's demented drink lab. Each sold separately. Batteries not included. Summer's calling. Get the okay to text GO at 8372X or to go online. One day at the factory. Ready? Begin. How's my little Bobby today? Ah, Zoom! 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 It's new fruit roll-ups, tongue tracks, tire tracks, animal tracks, and more running across your tongue. Hey, how's the test going? Huh? New fruit roll-ups, tongue tracks. What's going to run over your tongue next? An outrageous online game where battling evil cogs is only half the fun. Create your own tune, and you can do almost anything. With your parents' permission, get three days of free play at Toontown.com. Toontown, ready to eat for everyone. Are you tuned enough? And now back to Megas X and all. I need Megas to save the Earth, and I need it now. On to know me. What was that? Whatever it is, I'm sure it's Coop's fault. What is this? Some alien life form come to beg for its puny life? Amusing! Coop, you there? Something's going on. It could be the Glorft again. Uh, the good news is, it's not the Glorft. Now, where did that come from? I should thank you for releasing me. Of course. Don't mention it. Instead, I shall destroy you. 
Running away like a girl. What is all this stuff? Hey, the guy's dedicated to his games. Coop, your precious game cartridge is actually some kind of prison containment unit for intergalactic criminals. And you let one out! I kind of figured that much. I have to devise a way to return him to the cartridge. Yeah, well, just don't go messing up my games, okay? And again, if you really want to, you can figure out how to put him back. I have waited long for a worthy adversary. Such a shame you'll be vaporized. Jeez, why didn't you fight like that when you were in the game? Almost ready here. No prob. I got this guy on the ropes now. <laughs> How you like that? Okay, I reversed the magnetic polarity gate on the cartridge. We should be able to retrap this Gurkhek. Hey, did you find anything at the mall? Dude, you missed it. We got kicked out by security. It rocked! I can't leave you guys alone for one second, can I? So, how'd you fire that cool-looking laser? Was it this button? This? This thing. Get off the controls! You don't know what you're doing! Well, neither do you. Okay, ready. Guys! Guys! <laughs> them to go now I don't know Philly one planet killer just wasn't enough for you was it forget about that guy I cleaned his clock just like I'll whoop these chumps Coop. do something already to separate you two? Titanium refracting armor, but they got the job done. Told ya. This guy 
is tough. Nice shot. Now what are we gonna do with them? Well, if somebody hadn't destroyed the containment cartridge... Cartridge? I don't need no cartridge! I got a better plan. Was your plan? You see anybody complaining? So, uh, what about that planet killer guy? What are you so nervous about? You're not a planet. <laughs> All right. If it'll make you feel better, I'll go back and throw him in the ocean, too. I don't think that's an option. Whooped your jacked up alien butt! A temporary setback. But thanks to your laser feast, I feel good enough to kill a thousand planets! Guess where I'm going to start? Uh, I don't know. Your mom's house? <laughs> Think you're the only dude who's got moves? Coop, be careful. Trust me. Okay. Different tactic. Pointless resistance. This takes me back. Ah, double deuce! <laughs> the Magno Flex! <laughs> now you'll see why they call me Gurkak the Planet Killer! Actually, you'll be too dead to see anything. But you get the idea. He's generating a fusion reaction! That sounds bad. Generally, yes. We can't just let him waste the Earth! He's approaching critical mass. We don't have any way to cool him down and stop the explosion. 
First, he smashes my car, which I was gonna fix, by the way. Then he breaks my video game. Coop, you broke that. I'm on a roll here, man. And now he wants to break my planet? Well, I got news for you, buddy. This town ain't big enough for the both of us. Ah! for you? <laughs> Who's ruined the day now, huh? No prison can hold me! I have come back before! Dude, you're embarrassing yourself. So what are we gonna do with him? There's plenty more sea in the sea. He's too dangerous for that. Too bad we don't have some sort of containment unit or cartridge for him. Hey! You're right, dude. This is way better. Watch this. I loop you. I'll give you something to lerp. Sweet. I loop you. I demand you return me to my maximum security interdimensional prison. <laughs> this is... This is... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my sides hurt. Oh. 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 Now this is a game worth playing. As long as Gurkek is trapped for good, I don't care. So, Jamie, when are we going shopping again? Good day, huh? I saved the world and invented a new video game. Save the world, flooded Jersey City. Not bad. And you know, it kind of looks better this way anyhow. and garden gnomes, pots and pans and wedding bands. So, what's a Bamzoo? Bamzoo is one-stop shopping for many of the great products advertised on Turner Broadcasting. Networks like TBS, CNN, and TNT? Exactly. Bamzoo.com is a convenient and safe place to shop online. So, it's not an exotic fruit? <laughs> no. A tropical island? Just log on and see for yourself. Zombie kitty, zombie kitty. Jonesy Cat, she is my kitty, she is my sweaty, she is my Jonesy, she is my Jonesy Cat, she is my cat. Things can get pretty ugly when you're born. In an after school program, you can find something way better to do. It's incredible. Magic Kingdom. It's Disney on Ice. Disney presents Pixar's The Incredibles in a Magic Kingdom adventure. Where every kid gets a free Incredivan. Come see your favorite super family 
and all of your Disney friends in an incredible adventure on ice. Playing September 9th through the 11th at TD Waterhouse Center. Get your tickets today at Ticketmaster. Capri Sun Sport. It helps you get re-energized and rehydrated so you can get up for the game. But please, it's for the athletes. Capri Sun Sport, it's liquid fuel. Sup, dudes? Y'all haven't improved my game with the ladies. So I'm treating you in for a Nintendo. He barks when all the girls are around with their Nintendogs, and bam! <laughs> Nintendogs are off the hook. I connect with other dog owners and train my own dog with my voice and touch. Honey, the girls are here. I know, Mom. Play on, play on. <laughs> Nintendogs, only for Nintendo DS. Ready E for everyone. <laughs> Strange reports from Yusuke's home turf has Spirit World in a state of alarm. While Yusuke, feeling empty and bored after winning the dark tournament, was quickly lured into a fistfight with apparently harmless students. As Botan warned Kuwabara of the unexplained outbursts of spirit energy, who flew in with a frantic message? Somehow, despite all his strength, Yusuke has been kidnapped. Tonight at 11, come to the old mansion in Rakurakubi Estate. You may bring as many guests as you like. But Kurama, Hiei, and Kuwabara must be among them. If these three don't show up on time, Yusuke Urameshi's survival cannot be guaranteed. It still doesn't make sense. How could they have captured him? Some serious firepower. That's for sure. And knowing about Hiei and Kurama says a lot too. Yeah, these aren't your normal punks off the playground. Something bad is in the works. Well, let's hurry. We have to track down our favorite demon pair. I bet Karama's at his school. He practically lives there. Right. Pooh, you watch over Yusuke's home for us. Attention, remaining students. The janitors are locking up for the day. Please make your way home, and we'll see you in the morning. Come on, Suichi. You have to. You're a genius. And with you as captain, our team could finally win. As exciting as a biology meet sounds, my weekends are full. But you're a prodigy. Top scores every week, and the girls love you, don't they? You'll turn this whole club around, we start winning contests, we get more funding, then we get girlfriends! Please? Please? You've certainly thought this out, but I can't. Oh no you don't! <laughs> I've waited too long to get my chance. You join this team or face our wrath. Nerd violence. Kurama! 
Don't tell me. Hey! Where are you? Okarama! Do you think you could be a bit more discreet? Hey, don't distract me. I'm having enough trouble without my energy. And yelling helps me keep focus. Sorry, Suichi. I'm not really mean, just desperate. Please. Yes, well, you did have me scared. So, will you join? Aha! Okarama! You could have just come into the hall, you know. Oh. Uh, oh, dear. <laughs> hey, what did he call you? Who's Karama? Oh, just a meaningless nickname. There's no need to remember it. Yes, isn't that right? Huh? Please, be mindful. I'm Suichi here. Oh, oops. Is there a reason you've come? I'll say. Take a look at this. Any ideas who could have written it? Smells human. Yeah, that's what's weird. He left with school kids. We got just four hours to find Hiei. Well, he should be somewhere in the city. Although his criminal record has been cleared, Koenma still confines him here. I haven't seen him lately, though. <gasps> Too bad Hiei's not here. We could use his Jigan eye to find himself. That's right! <laughs> Logic is panic's prey. <laughs> Can I get some help? Yusuke's kidnapped? What is this, April Fool's Day? It's the truth, Goenma, sir. Look at Botan's report. Very clever, Ogre. Did you forge that yourself? <laughs> Would you listen to me for once? Someone's really kidnapped him, and we still don't know who they are or what they want. Fine, I'll play along. What else? Uh, Botan says Yusuke was last seen leaving his junior high with three apparently normal human teens. What? <laughs> Humans, of course. The strange blips of human energy popping up on the radar. It must be linked. <laughs> hmm. So now what? It's hard finding Hiei when he doesn't want to be found. He could be anywhere. Can't Koenma find him for us? Now, now. Koenma wouldn't waste his effort making spirit detectives if he still had to do all the work. Ah! Huh? That's right! Yusuke's detective items! What the what now? Koenma made them for Yusuke when he first started. That's when we were tracking down you and Hiei. But then he broke the compass with Rando. Then he lost the mirror, so I refurbished them all. But after that, I forgot when I left them in my pink kimono. Because we all know I never wear that anymore. <laughs> I think she's gone crazy. You're hardly the standard for wild outbursts. I'll need a little time to fetch it all. Very well. We'll reconvene at the park in an hour. It's a date. All the gadgets of the spirit detective. Wow! Like a real secret agent! So which device will find him? Uh... <laughs> oh, right. Let's see. Um... Ah! The superbly improved demon compass. A fresh take on a classic style for tracking down any demon. But can't he simply deceive it by manipulating his energy? Uh... uh. Not anymore, thanks to this newly installed sample chamber. By placing his DNA inside, such as from a strand of hair, we can find him regardless of his energy. It's too bad I don't carry around a locket of his hair. Uh, yes, good point. Ah, oh, how about this psychic spyglass? We can see through brick walls and search the entire city. In less than an hour? Uh, okay, forget seeing through walls. We'll use the concentration ring to blow them up. <laughs> Let me see this stuff. Careful! I'm accountable for that! Perhaps it's the wrong approach. Instead of finding him, is there an item that will make him find us? Get real! Botan would have mentioned it if we had something like that! We do! <laughs> the Mystic Whistle! I never had much of a reason to show Yusuke this darling, but it's really quite neat. Sort of a dog whistle for apparitions. It shoots out a sound wave only they can hear. The stronger your spirit energy, the louder the sound. I can make it go at least 60 miles. You'd better cover your ears. It's rather annoying. Okay. Well, here goes. <gasps> It penetrates my brain. Really? I'm not hearing anything but the birds.
There. Now we wait for Hiei. Hopefully he shows up. Ha <laughs> ah! That was fast. What repulsive creature makes my eardrums bleed? Thanks, Hiei. I thought you'd come if we called. Hmm. I didn't know it was you. I only came to find the source of that vile noise and kill it. Here, you'd better read this. Huh? Hmm. So, the detective's been ensnared. Wish I'd been around to see it. Must have been too cocky to realize his own weakness. Just tell the kidnappers I turned it down. I'm finished babysitting. You must be curious here. Hmm? Someone strong enough to overcome Yusuke must surely provide a challenge. Nice try, but I no longer care. How can you even think of walking off Hiei if you don't come? Yusuke could be killed. Not my responsibility. You should have learned by now this is a kill or be killed world. If you're too weak to help yourself, you deserve to fall. Then what if stopping these people now protected your own interests? The culprits are likely human, and we both know what powerful humans like to hunt. If they're allowed to kill Yusuke, perhaps you will be next. Fighting humans, that nearly piques my interest, but not quite. I wonder, Hiei, how have you liked being stuck on probation, bolted down to one human city? What do you think? Well, if you help bring back Yusuke alive, I'll have Koima cut your sentence to time served. You'll be free. You sure you want to do that? There's no other choice. We're almost out of time. Make your call, Hiei. Fighting humans to win my freedom? Yes. Sounds like a deal. Then come on. This is one house party we can't be late to. I'm going to kick so much tail. <laughs> Stop laughing, hamster legs. Is this the place? Looks deformed. It's the only old mansion on the block. Well, stay here, Botan. Whatever this house is, it's definitely not safe for non-fighters. That's sweet, I guess, but I'm going. With Yusuke out and you missing your spirit energy, I'm the only one who can use the detective tools. She's right. Our strength lies in numbers. Give a warning next time. The House of Four Dimensions. Once entered, this do not ever utter the word hot. Is it some kind of riddle? No, it is a warning. There's no way to know if it's real. But we may as well take precaution. Right, nobody say hot. Friends have come to visit you, Yusuke. What are you poser bastards up to? How come I can't move? And hell, why do your doors look so stupid? You've entered my territory. Space and time follow different rules. See how I'm stepping on your shadow? Here, it's as binding as a straitjacket. Now try to relax. Our night's about to begin. <laughs> will continue in a moment. Power up and play through the baby saga with Dragon Ball GT Transformation, the most powerful team of GT warriors ever assembled. It takes Dragon Ball to a higher level. I said higher level. Not high enough. What is this, band camp? Now we're talking bigger, faster, way more powerful. Dragon Ball GT Transformation, available now. Rated E10 for ages 10 and up. Oh, look, Pringles Prince! 
First question. Who can jump higher, a kangaroo or a leopard? A leopard. Correct. Bring those pigs with questions from Trivial Pursuit for Kids. There's printed fun on every wall. Let's go. We'll turn your Lunchables extra cheesy pizza into a pop and powerhouse. Check it out. Now there's pop and packets inside. You just sprinkle them on and pow. Whoa. Your mouth's popping like the 4th of July. Yay. New pop and packets. Now it's specially marked Lunchables. A surprising twist that's hard to resist. What's up? Walking like you're on the moon is a fun way to get active. Let's go! Now I can be part of Barbie's adventures with Barbie and the Magic of Pegasus. There's one Magic of Pegasus toy in my McDonald's Happy Meal. The scores. Woo! The hits. The highlights. The bands. The fans. Everything that is high school football. We gotta stop with your back. Let's go. Catch it all on 1st and 13. Friday night at 11, 13 and 1, 13. And Saturday morning at 10, 13 and 11, 13. On Central Florida News 13. Only on Bright House Networks. On August 28th, dive into sultry Miami with the 2005 MTV Video Music Awards. It's the hottest bash of the year with the granddaddy of party throwers, Diddy, as your host. Go to MTV.com for this year's nominees, exclusive red carpet action, and more. Don't miss a single unpredictably sizzling moment of the 2005 VMAs. Sunday, August 28th at 8. The MTV Video Music Awards are brought to you locally in part by Vans. New from For Real Friends, Smoochie Puff, the puppy who really kisses you. <laughs> she acts so sweet and so real. She really kisses you. My dog can do that. <laughs> Smoochie Puff from For Real Friends, batteries not included. Let's go! We'll turn your Lunchables extra cheesy pizza into a pop and powerhouse. Check it out. Now there's pop and packets inside. You just sprinkle them on and pow! Whoa! Your mouth's popping like the 4th of July! Yay! New poppin' packets! Now it's specially marked Lunchables! A surprising twist that's hard to resist! What's up? Walking like you're on the moon is a fun way to get active! Let's go! Very good! That's very impressive. The new hack show now continues all the time. What is this place? It looks all twisted up. And that steam, it's like an oven, it's so hot. Remember the word we're not saying. Karama. Did you feel that? Yes. When we entered, the energy schematic changed. It feels as though we've somehow been transported to a different space. Or a different space-time. Welcome to the house, everyone. I'm so glad you made it. Yeah, that's him. One of the guys you're messing left with. <laughs> Recognition. I just love how that feels. Listen, dork! I don't know who you think you are, but we're no normal school kids! His name is Kaito. Hold on. How on earth do you know that? He is a classmate. All of his test scores are second only to mine. Remarkably bright for his age. I've never spoken to him personally, and naturally I've never told him about you. Kaito! Where have you gotten your information? And why have you kidnapped Yusuke? <laughs> it's a real grip your seat mystery, isn't it? I hear your team won something called the Dark Tournament, and I hear that's quite a feat. My congratulations. 
really, I was most surprised about you, Suichi. Try to put yourself in my shoes. Learning my school rival can also do the funniest things with plants. Ooh, that's a scary look. I don't remember you ever making that face in the classroom. Then again, we both keep things from our peers. You see, I've learned that I have a talent too. And being such great champions as you are, I was hoping I could test them out on you. Okay, this is ridiculous! We've been through stuff you couldn't even dream about! I'll take him. You'll agree my impatience for human fools will be an asset. Now! You'll be sorry. I doubt that! <laughs> Never doubt. How the heck did he just do that? Energy came right out of nowhere. It looked weird. As you see, this is a very special room where brute strength cannot exist. Only your words have power here. Just make sure you follow my one posted rule. What's he saying? He must mean the note on the door. Indeed. As a child, plain pretend I would make my own world with my own rules, but I've learned I can do it for real. Growing up as a bookworm, I guess it was inevitable what I would decide to rule out. Violence. <sighs> I see why that disturbs you, Hiei. <clears throat> In the world of fighting, your skills let you bully anybody you want. But in my territory, you're just a tiny, swordless man. Control your temper, Hiei. He wants you to act out of anger. <sighs> Any buffoon can make a shield. How do we know your other claim isn't just a bluff? There's only one way. No three-letter word can rule my fate. Hot. <laughs> Try! I told him not to doubt me, but that's what happens when you say the taboo word, your soul becomes part of my territory. Wake him up! He's ice cold! Oh dear. You lose a point. Now we've taken two hostages. Your Meshi's having his fun upstairs. So what's your next move? Go home or play through the round? It's a kick, your lifestyle. The secrets, dueling opponents with special powers. I only started last month, but I've worked hard. My first challenge was learning how to control my power. The guys and I call it manifesting our territory. So far, I've gotten to a 10-meter radius around me. As long as I concentrate, everything inside it has to follow the rules I've set. Imagination turned to physical law. So, by that logic, if we incapacitate you, the rules will cease and he, a soul, will return to his body. I don't know. Maybe. <sighs> no one's beaten me yet, so it hasn't come up. That's it! I can't take any more of this rookie and his ego trip! How do you stand these friends of yours, Suichi? They can't handle one smart conversation. It must get lonely. Still, you haven't chosen. Will you challenge me or go home? Wait, you're forgetting the third option. Really? I'm drawing a blank. What do you mean? We forget about EA for now and move on! That's my vote! <laughs> I never expected to hear that from you, Kuwabara. He is your teammate. It's his own code! Right? You had to bribe him to help your Messi because he said weak men deserve to fall. Then he turns around and says the wrong thing on purpose just to be cool. Let's save him for after we're through. That'll teach him a lesson. You have a brain after all. <clears throat> of course, it's not a very good one. That option isn't valid. Why not? You can't hold us back! No, but you can't get through a doorway if you don't have the proper key. You mean your message's in there? 
<laughs> Let's just say that door is your first step. But Yanagisawa has the only key. Ha! <laughs> now this I can handle! <laughs> All right, Mr. Hairspray, hand over the key while I'm asking you nicely. Huh. No dice. Listen, I'll give you one more shot just in case you don't know who I am. Give me the dumb key. All right. Why don't you come knock me out and take it, man? Come on. Or did you lose your strength, too? You little... Shut your hole! <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get a better memory. We're still inside of Kaito's territory, and you know he doesn't like violence. We gotta be gentle with each other, okay? <laughs> How about I gently shove my foot down your throat? So, you finally decide? I'll play by your rules, Kaito. Whatever they are. <laughs> Good. And so, the trap has been laid. To get the key and go deeper within the house. To rescue Hiei's captured soul. And to free Yusuke, who is bound by his own shadow, Kurama must answer his brilliant schoolmate's challenge and take part in a mysterious battle of words. But what exactly does that mean? What grand scheme do these strangely powered teenagers have in mind? And what other oddities await our team in the House of Four Dimensions? Yeah, yeah, what I think we're trying to say here is, what the hell is going on in this freaky house? Freckly Four Eyes over there has definitely got a thing for turning souls into bouncy balls as Kuwabara gets the statue treatment too. I don't know what game Karama's got to play here, but he better be good at it, because his smarts are the only way to save us all. Not to mention that being paralyzed is really pissing me off. It's a battle of minds. Next time on Yu Yu Hakusho. Gigante. Oh, yeah! New episodes of Mucha Lucha Gigante, tonight at 9, only on Cartoon Network. Are you one of the cheesiest kids in America? Kraft Macaroni and Cheese wants to know. If so, your face could land on a famous blue box. Just show your love for Kraft Mac and Cheese in writing, in artwork, or in video. 12 cheesy winners will get their face on the box. 
a trip before to Orlando, and more. See specially marked boxes for details, or you can write here. Many will enter, a few will win. The Cheesiest Kids in America contest from Kraft Macaroni and Cheese. Sure, it's the cheesiest. Are you? Huh? Huh. Ego home style waffles. So crispy on the outside, so fluffy on the inside, you won't be able to leave them alone. The irresistible part of this complete breakfast. Oh, look, Pringles Prince! First question Who can jump higher, a kangaroo or a leopard? A leopard! Correct! Pringles Prince, with thousands of questions from Trivial Pursuit for Kids, right on the Pringles you love. What relative's name do you shout when you give up? Oh, we're out of time, we're all serious. There's printed fun on everyone. Pringles Prince. Have you ever worked with anything high-tech? <laughs> Time to shut you down. You won't get away with this! We will fight you to the last crime! No one can speak to the rest of I come from the net. Through systems, peoples, and cities, to this place. Mainframe. My format, Guardian. To mend and defend. To defend my newfound friends, their hopes and dreams. To defend them from their enemies. They say the user lives outside the net and inputs games for pleasure. No one knows for sure, but I intend to find out. Reboot! Something's wrong. The whole kit sector is going offline, one block at a time. Yes, it's 
child, I know. My links have blacked out as well. It started at the docks. I'm there. Hey, wait up! I will do what I can from here. Please, be most careful. Would everybody just chill? Remember, Bob's apartment is in kids. Whatever's happening there, I'm sure he's on top of it. Central Nets intercepted. Chibi hours, Captain. <laughs> right. How goes the looting, Mr. Christopher? Optimal, Captain. Plus 14% on our schedule. Total market value, less expenses. Currently at 18,000 plus. Arr, Captain Capacitor! Strange booty, sir. What do you make of it? Well, blow me down! By my reckon, you scurvy dog, this will be none other than a guardian key tool. A rare find indeed. Mr. Christopher! Here? A 2,000 unit bonus to Miss Sally and Mr. Andrew. They've looted a real treasure on this one, mates. But what's a guardian key tool doing in such a small port? You better wake the princess, just in case. Hi, Captain! Darl! Can you imagine what this could mean? I, sir. A 26,000% profit margin. <laughs> I am having no luck here, Dot. How about you? Whoever they are, they've got the sector sealed. We can't get past their file lockers. Dude! Where are you, Bob? Software pirates? Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. The nets are all down. That's to be expected. Great! Well, we can't have any of that in my neighborhood. Time for Glitch and me to party! They took Glitch! Those low-level, basic, buffered... The hold, sir. She's nearly full. Right. Begin fallback. I, sir. Code Abacab! I repeat, Code Abacab! <laughs> We've a live one on our hands. Show them what we're made of, mates. Aye, sir! Aye, aye! Well, shiver me templates! It is a guardian! <laughs> ah, Princess Bula! Good morning! You know what that is? Guardian! He's already down time 16 of our shipmates, Captain! Well, there go our profits. He fights very well. Aye, I say we quit file him now. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, please. There'll be profit in everything. You just have to look deep enough. I'll wager a guardian would fetch a mighty price in any system. We could even use him in ours. What do you think, Princess? Can you stop him? No! If you don't mind, sister. Oh! Alright, pal. Where's my glitch? Glitch? And what good sir is a glitch? Yeah, right. Don't try that on me, pirate. Hand it over. As you wish, Guardian. That's better. Well, look alive, me hearties. We're 
behind schedule. Oh, right. In the dining room? Oh, hey. Hi, romantic. <laughs> I'm just gonna go make a phone call. Do that. Ce soir, hey, et toi et moi, mon amour, mon amour, ensemble nous irons toucher le ciel dans l'extase. When you live in a bright house, you get unlimited local and long-distance calling anywhere in the U.S., Puerto Rico, and Canada for one low price. Yeah, uh-huh. Okay, I'll call you. Oh, wait, one more thing. What? So talk all you want. Bright House Network's digital phone. See how bright life can be. Uh-uh. When it's just for fun. Uh-huh. And just for kids. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Now you can split fruit by the foot right down the middle for double the fun. fun. You're tuned to the commercial channel. All commercials, all the time. What is that, Dot? I think some sort of ship. Hey, Fung, you look worried. Yeah, what's wrong? What is it? Well, not only did they manage to steal a good many valuables from the sector, they took Bob. That's not even funny! We gotta stop him and get Bob back! Fong, where are they now? I am picking up a large portal out at sea. This must be how the pirates arrive and how they will return. We have little time. Once they enter that portal, we may lose Bob forever. What we need is a ship. <laughs> Excuse me! 
Excuse me. Um, it's nice to see you again, Ms. Matrix, but uh, this yacht is a private format. Sorry, Mr. Mitchell, but we're commandeering your ship. Commandeering my... on whose authority? Mine. Oh! <laughs> Hello, Fong, sir. Pardon us, Mr. Mitchell, but we have little time. The pirates are already halfway to the portal. Pirates? At this distance and their speed, you have almost no chance of catching them. Well, we have to at least try. They task me, and I shall have them. What are their coordinates? Downloading now. Oh, <laughs> surely, Ms. Matrix, there are bigger, stronger ships in the harbor. Oh, definitely. But as you heard, we need speed more than anything. And in all of Mainframe, your ship is the fastest. <laughs> so it is. I said I was sorry. Ready for cast off, boss! Don't wait! Come on, Frisket. We could really use your help on this one. Give it up, Enzo. We're running out of time. Oh, Frisket. Sure, now you want to come. That's what I was trying to tell you, boy. You should have come up the... when you prisoners do that. <laughs> Besides, I don't snore when I really sleep, and no one has ever escaped from my brain. Well, except for that one. Mouse? Blimey! How do you know her name? Ah, she's an old friend and a long story. Didn't you know? I'm a guardian. I know everything. <laughs> Nice try, you rapscallion, but my crew doesn't scare that easily. Well, good for them. What's your name, Guardian? My name is for my friends. Well, mine isn't. I am the Crimson Binome. Huh, Captain Capacitor. I've heard of you. Of course you have. This is Mr. Jimmy. And you've already met Princess Bula. Is she really a princess? No. You want to tell her different? What I want is for you to let me go before I make more trouble for you than I'm worth. <laughs> no, my boastful friend. I'm afraid even you could not cause that much damage. You wish. An admirable try, Guardian, but I'm afraid these bars are too... Well, blow me down! How'd he manage to squeeze through that? Never mind how! Just follow him! Captain! Yes? You're needed at the wheel, sir. We've got company. A ship gaining off our stern! <sighs> On my way, Ensign. Thanks, Mouse. Wherever you are, I owe you one. I think it's time to make this voyage unprofitable. <laughs> What is it, Fong? Oh, 
some unexplained reason, the pirate ship has just stopped. You will have no problem catching them now, child. I do not understand. I do. Bob. It's the rudder he's got this time, Captain. Blown clear off. Oh, rudder 10,100. Wasted ammo 700. Bula? Have you captured the Guardian yet? Almost! Unidentified vessel, you are ordered to stand down! I am not unidentified, my good lady! I am the Crimson Binome, captain of the ship! And you? Uh, Admiral Matrix. It is pointless to resist. We've dealt with your kind before. This I greatly doubt, for we always win. Always! So it is you, I beg, who should stand down and leave. For your own good, madam. <laughs> Prepare to be boarded and to hand over our stolen property. Yeah, you know we're only in this for the profit, miss. But if it's a fight you want, then it's a fight you'll have. You have been warned. Okay, people, we're going in. Right, Mr. Edwards, open fire on the approaching vessel. All guns. Uh. It's about the Guardian, sir. He, uh, damaged the cannons. Damage? How much damage? Uh, we only have, uh, one left. Very well, then. Far away with, with... with whatever. We have a tall day, Mr. Edwards. Aye, Captain. Incoming! <laughs> Way to go, Frisket! <laughs> Well, blow me down! Shifting engine coils, asymmetric magnetics, now! How about you, you scurvy knaves? We're coming, Bob! <laughs> oh, I haven't had this much fun in minutes! <laughs> Want some help? See, Frisky? See that bad man? He's the boss! Sick him! Tsk! Tsk! Left your friends unguarded, hmm? Bad boy. Bad boy. Oh, hello, Princess! What took you so long? Good fighter. Avast, you scallywags! I suggest you surrender now! Before accidents happen to your friends! Dot, can you read me? Dot! I'm afraid your friends won't be returning, old Sprite! By the code of the high sea, they be our worthy spiles of victory to do with as we please. We, the ship and crew of the Crimson Binome. You won't get away with this fish, mate. Ah, but I already have, my lad. Yes? The rudder's back online, Captain. We're on our way. Aye, good work. She's a sorry profit margin, sir. Heavy damage, wasted supplies, significant downtime. Even with the Guardian, we're nowhere near our usual 200%. 200%? You call that a profit margin? <laughs> oh, please. And you could do better? Much. Uh, but don't take my word for it. Take a look for yourself. You've got all my spreadsheets right there. The password is Guardian. Guardian? Dot. Aye, that she does, sir. Look! As the sea flows, how can such profits be possible? 
Well, they are when you don't attack your customers. She's got a point, Captain. Without damage repairs, refits, lost loading time due to initial attack phase, increased personnel efficiency, at least 1,962%. <laughs> of course, that's a conservative estimate. <laughs> Ah, but you've forgotten about accrued depreciation of upgrades. No, I haven't. Simply sell volume at discount to lower grade systems. Touche. You stay out of this, mister. Then uh, how do you offset market flux? Diversification. Initial inventory outlay. Amortization. Demand drop off. Become a buyer. Yeah. <laughs> Huh? It's okay, Bob. It's okay. They're on our side now. Our side? What do you mean, our side? How did... Dot? I have hundreds of clients who would pay premium for inter-system transport of your caliber, for a percentage, of course. Of course. Uh, do tell me more, Admiral Matrix. Please, Captain Capacitor. Call me Dot. <laughs> Actually, my name's Gavin. Did she... With her, and now they're going into business together? Major. Well, blow me down. Humongous pieces, plus an awesome honey sweet crunch for a giant taste that's part of this good breakfast. Honeycomb, got the mouth for it? Big Mouth's wanted. Have you got what it takes to join Batman? You can find out at the Batman Training Academy on Postopia. Sharpen your physical and mental skills. Then enter the Batway to help save Gotham City. I'm mean. You can enter with a host token from marked boxes of these post cereals. Aren't you gonna ask why I look so cool? Okay. Why are you wearing that ridiculous getup? Well, I was eating some Cinnamon Toast Crunch earlier, and as I was looking at the cinnamon and sugar swirls, I realized what looks great must be great. Yeah, true, but what's your point? Well, I figured if I looked like a rocker, I'd be a rocker. <laughs> Seth, stick to eating your cereal, not analyzing it. Too late. He missed the ingredient, chemical X. Want to know what would be the effect? 
Crane. Pilot replacement approved. Starting sequence. Sequence confirmed. New pilot registered. Pilot Arts Wilney Cocteau. New repair registered. Repairer Chun Yug. New vessel code name registered. Renade. Claim. Renade the claim. Pilot replacement approved. What's wrong with you? I thought... Well, I don't know. I thought maybe I heard my friend's voice. Ray. Ray. That's enough, and wake up already. Uh, this is... My house. My desk. What are you saying, half asleep? Were you up late again? What am I going to do with you? Ray, hurry and eat your breakfast. Your friends have kindly waited for you. You're going to be late for school again. School? Friends? Come on, you better hurry up. Do you have the need to break the consecutive tardy record? <laughs> Why are you walking so slowly? We're really going to leave you behind. Uh, uh, what? But... What are you guys doing here? Ah! We even bothered to pick you up! 
That's no way to talk to us! Huh? Zero! Cut it out! You're choking me, Clay! Ah! That's because it's very strange. What are you guys doing here in my colony anyway? Colony? What's that? Is that a new candy or something? You idiot! A colony is a colony! It's a huge dome and it's all covered up so the air doesn't leak out into space. covered his head and curled into a ball. Like if the sky wasn't covered in fall off? That's so childish. Oh my gosh. Or is he regressing into his infancy? Probably because he was dreaming again about falling from the sky. <laughs> Zero, he's so cute. <laughs> he's too stupid. R Reka, does this mean that you and Zero... Hey, hey. That's Zero. He's always like that. <laughs> That's enough, you guys! Shut up! Be quiet! The warning bell is already rung. Hurry up and get to your seats! And you're here, too. What are you just standing there for? You can't hear? You better not ignore me! Please don't ignore me! <laughs> <laughs> a barbarian like you is in no way a match for my intelligent strategies. Uh, darn it. You mean to say that you were sleeping during the simulated battle? That is by far the worst excuse for someone who lost. It's not like that. It was more real than a dream. You mean, we were all friends and happily attending school together in your colony? No, it wasn't a colony. It was really spread out. With no roof over our heads. Perhaps it's because you hit your head during an impact. I think Dr. Crawford needs to have a look at you. Not me! You don't know what'll happen with a quack like that! I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell. Jeez, Una, you wouldn't! Endless views that go on? That's not a colony, but a planet. A what? A planet? It's the place in Zero's dreams. Zero, what did the end of the place you were in look like? Perhaps you couldn't see the other side. What is this? It's the horizon. It's where the landscape drops off. Yeah, yeah. That's right. It was like this and couldn't see any walls and the sky went on forever. I'm positive. What you saw was a view being on a planet. Hmm. This is very interesting. No kidding. This planet you're talking about, then could it be a place like Zion? What other planet could there be left? Zion. Precisely three laps. That idiot! Though he's lost weight, it hasn't helped him! It's because he lost weight too quickly, and his stamina has dropped. Okay, Clay, Yamagi, Zero, you're done. Take a ten-minute rest. You know, I wonder why I had such a dream. You said it wasn't a dream. Shut up. Well, let's just say you were a little homesick. How can you say that? Because otherwise it's very strange. How can you dream of seeing a whole planet for a guy who doesn't even know the meaning of a horizon? Speaking of that, how do you even know about it? 
Have you ever even seen a horizon? Of course not. I do have that knowledge. You just don't know enough about anything. What are you guys talking about? Zero really misses his hometown and was dreaming all about it. And he was homesick. That's not what I said. I often have dreams of my hometown. My colony was shut down and there's not even a soul on it. I sure still know it. I still have dreams of my family waiting with concern at the colony for my homecoming. <sighs> to keep the number of dreamers like me from growing, I'm going to become the pilot who will beat victim. And this is for sure. <sighs> what? Well, what's so wrong with that? No, no. I just thought, well, that's pretty cool. Right? Yeah, yeah, right. I thought it was pretty cool, too. You! You damn fools! The reason why we're trying so hard is to become goddess pilots and save everyone from victim! It's not about being cool! Save everybody? You mean it's not? Then tell me, why do you want to become a pilot? The reason I want to be a pilot? <laughs> This is... Hey, Zero, you look out of it. Are you feeling sick? No, uh, I... Hurry up, sit down and wipe your face. It's not cool. I, uh... Uh... What the... What on earth is going on? performances without leaving your home. Movie hits like this are $3.99 or less. Just go to Movies on Demand on Channel 123 and enjoy the show. Bright House Networks. See how bright life can be. You know, grilling is always a party. It's not really about the food, it's about the people. We're going to go to the barbecue capitals of America. We'll meet people who are tailgating at sporting events. And of course, we'll meet the pros, the pit masters. Anywhere in America where there's smoke and fire, we're going to be there. Barbecue with Bobby Flay, Wednesday nights at 9 on Food Network. That bad apple just won't give up. <laughs> Get ready for more Hot Wheels on DVD. Accelerate! Go! The world's best drivers are conquering new realms on land and below. You're underwater. Awesome. You can buy Hot Wheels Accelerators, The Speed of Silence, Tuesday on DVD. It's the Fantastic Four. They've got fantastic powers. Super Stretch Mr. Fantastic can stretch up to three times his size and go to any length to defeat the evil Dr. Doom. Let's go for a spin, Doom. Super Stretch Mr. Fantastic stretches up to three times his size. When the clock strikes five, it's time to take a dive into the action-packed underwater world of Maguzi. Awesome. Jump into the fun with the Goozy Gang. Bring it on. To get your favorite action tunes every single day starting at 5. Another great day to be alive. You've got friends under the sea every day from 5 to 7 on the Goozy. Brought to you by McDonald's. I'm loving it. All right now, it's the big yellow taste of Kellogg's Corn Pops. As portrayed by a music video. Yeah, yeah. Pop sweet glaze goes bling like my ring. That sweet puffed crunch is tight like my limousine. So yellow and delicious. Are you feeling ambitious for a taste that's so large? The cereal superstar. It's a pop spang, sweet crunchy bling bling. The cereal is the dealio. Big yellow taste, sweet puffed crunch. Part of this goofy breakfast. You gotta have my pop. Sing it, baby. Baby bottle pop, baby bottle pop. You can lick it, sip it, or munch it. Baby bottle pop, baby bottle pop, an original.
Candy juice and new candy crunch flavors. Emergency alert. All units follow instructions. Proceed in an orderly manner and board and stand by in the emergency pod. Zero, stop! Wake up! Zero, wake up! Zero, EX range is increasing rapidly. It's not neutralized at all. We shouldn't have done this. The instructor's gonna kill us. Well, it's too late now. And you should know that you pushed him to this clay. Because it was interesting. Why is it that he's alone without any training and Tuning got to ride the Ingrid? What do you think was in his memory? Doesn't everyone want to know? But you didn't have to go this far. I think that hypnosis was by far the best method to recreate the environment in order to exactly recreate his experience in the cockpit of the Ingrid. That was the only decision I could make. You mean Zero is just asleep? If everyone was having an EX reaction while sleeping, Goa would have fallen apart by now. That is where it becomes very interesting. Well, I think maybe his EX reaction might be triggered by the environment of his being in the cockpit of the Ingrid that he fell into. The data is... Hmm. Clay Cliff Fortran, forget about the lecture! Hurry up and do something! And do it now! But, but what can I do? What did you say? <laughs> Kizuna, will you stay cool? <gasps> Recruit? What in the world are you doing here? Huh? Azuma, look there. Bit of a goddess? What's what's happening? Uh, uh, uh. Damn it! Where are you attacking from? Zero. Uh, keep calm. You will be fine. His EX reaction is working even when he's sleeping. The tranquilizers won't take effect. If his EX is out of control, we'll have to throw him out into space. No! Please don't! No. His EX is a physical reaction. If we stimulate it the wrong way, he might blow up Goa. And his is not out of control. His EX is the type that is totally manageable. What are you implying? Well, he has a reason for his EX being in motion. Of course, we still don't know what the reasons are for his dreams yet. Dreaming? Right. He's dreaming. See? It's a very clean REM brainwave. If he's only dreaming, I'll just wake him up. I told you before. I can't assure what will happen if we stimulate him incorrectly. So what are we supposed to do about it, then? We have to wait until he wakes up on his own. That's if Goa can last that long. We're really in a fix. Oh, speak, speak for, for yourself. yourself. Huh? Kill me. Why are you here? And what's going on anyway? The answer is always within yourself. You should be able to see it. I can't figure it out like that. Tell me right now, what is a goddess? And who is that girl I saw before? You will find out when we ride one. Uh, hey, when I ride it? Uh, uh, damn bastard. Hey, why can't I see outside clearly? What's going on here? Damn it. The answer is always within yourself. I can't see it because I've never seen it before. Ride one, does that mean I haven't ridden it till now? Obviously, this is too realistic to be a dream. Is this a simulation or a qual ball? No, it's not. Darn it, this is not worth it. Ah! Huh? Uh, ah! It hurts. 
I just can't believe it. Z Zero! What's happened to you? Don't ask me. I don't even understand. Uh, 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 thanks for the other time. Huh? If you hadn't asked me, I might have forgotten about it. About what? The reason for becoming a pilot. What do you mean, become a... Well then, I better figure out if this is also a dream. Zero! Zero! Ray? Get ready quickly and eat. You'll be late for school again. You know, Mother? What? I've been trying to recall your face, and I can't. Isn't that funny? That is to say, even though I love you so much. And that's not all. I can't remember any of my friends, when I used to live here. I know I used to have a whole lot of good buddies. Ray, are you sad? Hmm. No, I'm not. I don't know why, but I'm not sad at all. Even though they were very important to me. That is what's so sad, no? Is that so? You could be right. But if I become a full pilot, then I can save everyone. That much I know is true. And after I become a pilot, I will think of other things. That's what I've decided I'm going to do. My mind's made up. Okay. Do you think I'm doing the wrong thing? Do as you please. You know that I will forever be on your side. Thank you, Mom. Goodbye, Mother. Slugs! If you're too slow, I'll add ten more laps! Why, why do we have to run with them? Because we got mixed up in this. Well, you're pretty energetic after that incident, aren't you, Zero? Huh? What? Well, it's okay now. What is? About my mother and everything that's inside of that Ingrid I rode before. Why is that? I feel everything will be answered when I ride the Ingrid. And that's why becoming a pilot is all that I'm going to think about from now on. You never thought about anything in the first place, did you? That's right! Come on, Zero! Zero! Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> What's up? I want to fight with you. You must be crazy. There aren't enough pairs since Arts left. The instructor said that until the teams are settled and re-established again, the training will be postponed. In other words, I'm not your teammate anymore. I want to have a duel with you right now. Don't tell me you're afraid to have a duel with me. Ah? Uh? <sighs> you damn newbie. Tell us you. Go now and get instructor Hijikata's permission to use a training facility. Will do. I'll get him. I'll win and defeat each and every last one of them. Nobody will get in my way. 
I will be the one to manipulate the goddess. <laughs> heart there was a darkness a darkness that couldn't be erased the young woman who tries to help him makes a mistake as she becomes more fascinated and more entangled the surroundings become more blurred candidates for goddess curriculum number 10 jealousy for those with wings fly to your dreams Remember that time when you thought I imagined you a baby brother? Brother. Now I'm a horsey. Now you're a horsey. Give me up. Now you're a horsey. Now you're a horsey. Not funny. <laughs> Find your friends at Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Weeknights at 7 starting Monday, September 5th on Cartoon Network. Oh my, I'm Sydney, man. Hey, buddy, I'll get this bowl. Whoa, the Apple Jacks doesn't taste like apples. Because the sweet taste of cinnamon. Cinnamon. Part of this balanced breakfast. Oh, why me? Are you one of the cheesiest kids in America? Kraft Macaroni and Cheese wants to know. If so, your face could land on a famous blue box. Just show your love for Kraft Mac and Cheese. In writing. In artwork. Or in video. 12 cheesy winners will get their face on the box. A trip from Florida to Orlando and more. See specially marked boxes for details or you can write here. Many will enter, a few will win. The cheesiest kids in America contest from Kraft Macaroni and Cheese. Sure, it's the cheesiest. Are you? Oh, look, Pringles Prince. First question. Who can jump higher, a kangaroo or a leopard? A leopard. Correct. Pringles Prince, with thousands of questions from Trivial Pursuit for Kids, right on the Pringles you love. What relative's name do you shout when you give up? Oh, we're out of time, but I'll see you tomorrow. There's printed fun on everyone. Pringles Prince.
Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the video game, is your golden ticket to the tremendous, marvelous Willy Wonka Factory. Come along for a delicious adventure and win Wonka's amazing factory. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the video game, rated everyone. Power up and play through the baby saga with Dragon Ball GT Transformation, the most powerful team of GT warriors ever assembled. Dragon Ball GT Transformation, available now, rated everyone 10 and up. So much hype. So much pressure. So much for letting it affect you. LeBron's Lightning Lemonade. Be explosive with Bubblicious. I'm Boss Harris. I run this place with an iron fist, cheap suits, and really bad breath. Holy man, Harris is a complete... Mr. Harris. A complete what? Need a moment? Oh. Chew it over with Twix. New from For Real Friends, Smoochie Pup, the puppy who really kisses you. <laughs> she acts so sweet and so real. She really kisses you. My dog can do that. <laughs> Smoochie Pup from For Real Friends, batteries not included. So how do you plan to get out of this predicament, huh? I don't know. Time to get back to business, Bash. Target planet on maximum telefinder range in five, four, three, two, one. Here it comes. <laughs> hey guys, this could be it. Sure looks promising this time, don't you think? I have a good feeling about this. I think that planet is going to be our new home. According to our preliminary observational data, it seems to be reasonably similar to home. Enough with the scientific crap already. I say we take a chance. Let's <laughs> land this puppy. We've done the cold sleep five times. If we get frozen one more time, we'll shrivel ah. up. <laughs> <laughs> Knock it off. You're such a pig, Steve. It's impossible to settle here. And besides, whether we land or not, that's not a decision for us to make. It definitely has a habitable environment. But it has no existing oceans, and its stratum consists mostly of quartz. It's not worth waking up the old men. Hey, Joey, just out of curiosity, what kind of flowers are on that planet? Huh? Uh, well... Weren't you listening to what I said before, Rem? That planet doesn't Hold have... on. Why not? We don't know that yet. We'll decide once the results of the minute analysis are in. For all we know, it just might have the flowers Rem thinks it has. If it does, I sure hope there'll be red flowers. So... You're still in here? Where's Knives? I was wondering... Why don't they ever wake up? The ship is too quiet. It's just you and me and Knives. And even with the rest of the crew, there are only seven of us. All right, Vash. The day has finally come to tell you what is written on the outside of this ship. It says, Project Seeds. Project Seeds? Yes. 
These ships are like seeds that are filled with our own genes, genes from the human race. They are sent off to discover and populate an unknown world. I suppose you could say that we are the caretakers of all those seeds. If there's a god in deep space, he must be laughing at us right now. Our pitiful struggle for immortality must look like an impossible quest to him. Even though it may look shameful to others, it represents, for all of us, the desperate human will to survive, to carry on our species. When they arrive, a fight on a new land awaits them. This ship is their home, and until it's time, it's our job to let them sleep in peace. Rem, is there anything we can do to help you? <laughs> oh, that's where you are. So do you want to have lunch in the usual place in the rec room? You really like that song. It seems to pop into my head whenever I'm happy. Do you think it's strange? No, not really. It's a nice song. That's sweet. Thanks, Knives. It's weird. Nothing's actually been moved around, but every time we come here, this place seems different for some reason. That's because it's alive. Hmm? Can't you feel it? It has its own rhythm. You can actually feel the living oh, heartbeat boy. of the plants. There she goes again, thinking about home. So this looks like the world you and the others keep talking about. Well, sort of, but the scenery at home was actually much more expansive, with a lot more variety of plants and animals. I'd like to see that, Rem. We're not just going to see it, we're going to create it. We'll find a place to create our new home. And when we get there? There will be nothing but peaceful days. With no war. And no stealing. An Eden where people can live in freedom and harmony, right? The state of our home, Earth, was so desperate, we had no choice but to leave. Mankind could no longer survive there. The entire population was facing death, so Project Seas was drafted as a way to resolve this crisis. Rem, that's our ship, the one you told us about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Judging from the computer data, it looks to me like mankind is responsible for damaging the planet, right, Captain? I hate to say it, but it's true. Our young race believed the land and resources were unlimited, which led to gradual destruction. By the time they realized what they had done, it was too late. The planet could no longer take the abuse. If that's true, why did they come up with the idea to set this project in motion? The need to survive. Exactly. The behavior of clinging to life till the verge of death is intrinsic to all organisms. Survival instincts take over, dismissing shame in order to live. But is it right to live if it means such huge sacrifices? We make the smallest sacrifice we can think of at the time. Unlike the other organisms on the planet, we possess logic, the knowledge to minimize the sacrifice. Also, as human beings, we have the ability to right our wrongs. Hopefully we'll learn from our mistakes and start over in a new home. As we journey, we need to take time to search and think of ways to make everyone happy without endangering our environment. This is no good. What are you talking about? I'm not cut out to be an educator. What was I thinking, Rem? I can only teach them how to use the computer. I've never been a father. I don't know the first thing about raising kids. That goes double for me. No, I'm serious. You're teaching them all sorts of things, like emotions, how to be kind to others, and the value of the future. I'm not that great, Joey, really. I just play with them, that's all. It's no big deal. <laughs> yeah, I guess we just have a different way of looking at things. You know, I was thinking, why do you suppose they came here anyway? Because they're angels. Angels? Perhaps we should pay more attention to them. Bash and knives could be angels God sent to point us in the right direction. They may even guide us through our dream. Oh. Hey, Rem here? No, she's with the kids in the rec room. Like there isn't a care in the world. Apparently she doesn't realize we still have three plants left to adjust. Oh yes, I meant to tell you, the two little guys took care of those while you were napping. What? Tell me you're kidding, Rowan. I'm fast, but that's still a two-day job for me. What's with them? It's nothing to be surprised about. Their IQ is way above ours. Don't take it so personally. You should be glad they're willing to help. Maybe they're better suited for brain work than you, Steve. You need to lighten up on those kids a little. Cut the crap! Mm. Do you really want the ship left in the hands of those monsters? Mm. <gasps> Just look at how big they grew in one year! It isn't normal! Those kids are monsters, I tell you! Monsters! Vash! Vash... Hey, you're crying again. What's the matter? 
It's Steve. He says that we're not human. <laughs> he hates me. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's hard to understand, but to these people, we're just uninvited guests. We only need to be patient for a little while until they accept us. But Rem said that we could stay here. Do you think she feels that way? Remember what Joey said? We have to make the smallest sacrifice we can think of at the time. If we can do that, we can get through anything. Hey, Vash, do you know why plants can't talk? Rem said it's because they're stronger than we are. She said they're so strong, they concentrate all their energy on living so they don't need to use words. Yeah, they're strong, but we eat their fruit. We have to eat their fruit to live. Do you think I'll be eaten someday? No, Knives, definitely not. At least according to Rem. Don't you remember? She said they're making a different kind of Eden. Knives! What the hell are you doing in here? <laughs> this place is off limits to your kind. You got that, monster? <laughs> so then why am I here? There's got to be a reason. Knives, it won't be much longer. Take your time. This is turning into quite a trim. I never noticed before, but you're really handsome. Really? You think so, Rem? Hey! I have an idea, handsome. It's sticking up. <laughs> I think it's great. It really suits you, Vash. And... It reminds me of him. Who? Someone I loved very much back home. So where is he now, Rem? He is in the land of angels, heaven. He was my emotional support. Thanks to him, I was able to face my mistakes without judgment. I learned to make them right again. Then I lost him and realized that I would have to do it alone. But I wasn't afraid to make mistakes anymore. I believed I could point myself in the right direction without looking back. That is exactly why I got on this ship. So I could enter the future as I am. Rem, are you sad? Huh? Well, just a little. You know, you have me. I won't leave you alone. I promise I won't. Because I really love you, Rem. <laughs> You're such a baby. <laughs> but thank you, Vash. Anyway, we're done. Shall we switch now? Knives! It's all wrong! Hey, somehow I knew you'd be in here. <gasps> what happened? Just a small change of heart, that's all. Besides, if we stay the same, there's no individuality. This break. I just want to replace Madonna! Shut up! If you're gonna keep getting in my way! Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the video game, is your golden ticket to the tremendous, marvelous Willy Wonka Factory. Come along for a delicious adventure and win Wonka's amazing factory. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the video game, rated everyone. Mm. This is my demented drink lab. Makes lots of gross things that taste great. Drink lab refills that you keep on making gobs of ghastly goodies over and over again. Dr. Grateful's demented drink labs, each sold separately, batteries not included. Summer's calling. Get the okay to text GO at 8372X or to go online. One day at the factory. Ready? Begin. How's my little Bobby today? Ah, something ran over my kid's tongue. Alert, alert, call a doctor. Call an ambulance. Anxiety overload. Alert, 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 alert. It's new fruit roll-ups, tongue tracks, tire tracks, animal tracks, and more running across your tongue. Huh? New fruit roll-ups tongue tracks. What's gonna run over your tongue next? Big C, you're ready for Tooltown. An outrageous online game where battling evil cogs is only half the fun. 
create your own tune, and you can do almost anything. With your parents' permission, get three days of free play at Toontown.com. Toontown, rated E for everyone. Are you tuned enough? The toughest tournament in town, beat em on. You can customize your beat em on with accuracy, rapid fire, power, or go head to head with directed battle. Tournament set figures and loader sold definitely assembly required. Ask your parents to take you to Hasbro.com. What's a Bamzu? It's home decor and a music store. Is there more? Baby booties and Hollywood movies, telephones and garden gnomes, pots and pans and wedding bands. So what's a Bamzu? Bamzu is one-stop shopping for many of the great products advertised on Turner Broadcasting. Networks like TBS, CNN, and TNT? Exactly. Bamzu.com is a convenient and safe place to shop online. So it's not an exotic fruit? <laughs> no. On a tropical island? Just log on and see for yourself. Tsunami. We got a big problem! See ya. <laughs> That's a wonderful haircut, Knives! Thank you. As strange as it may sound, I actually feel... refreshed. <laughs> you know, you look very intellectual. Why, you look like a regular little philosopher. What do I look like? A mama's, mama's boy. boy. That's me. <laughs> huh? I'm amazed you can stomach eating at the same table with those little monsters. Steve, I think you've had one too many. No, I haven't, baby. <laughs> hey, Steve, come on. Don't you have some work you still have to do someplace else? Oh, uh, shut up, boy, Dexter. I can always do that later. You're a disgrace. Uh? Now, is that any way for a grown man like you to behave in the presence of innocent children? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> he sure has been acting crazy lately. It's because he's afraid. Who does he think he is, draping himself all over Mary like that? Huh? <sighs> Those two are such a pain. But then again, I suppose just one would be rather boring. Huh? Oh! That was the easiest way to stop him. You wanted to save the butterfly, right? I didn't want to kill the spider, I wanted to save them both! What are you talking about? Unless the spider caught the butterfly, it would die of starvation anyway. You can't save both, don't you know that? It's not right to make that choice so easily. Huh? Both of them are living creatures, Knives. So you should... But I'm not wrong about this, Rem! If you just keep saving the butterflies, the spiders will die! Yes, but... Wanting to save both is just a naive contradiction. And what would you have rather had us do? Just stand and think about it? In the meantime, while we do that, the spider eats the butterfly. Uh, uh, what's wrong with you, knives? Don't you understand? I wanted to save both of them, you idiot! You don't make any sense, Bash. I don't think so, Knives! You're the one who doesn't make any sense! According to interplanetary law, Steve is relieved of duty. He will be detained in the freezer. Furthermore, upon the completion of our mission, he will be released from detention to stand trial. That is all. All I did was get a little drunk! Why can't you believe what I'm saying? We haven't heard his side yet. You're not being fair to him! I saw him go into Mary's room, and I find that unacceptable. Hey, wait! I didn't do anything! We still have time to discuss this. In order for us to function as a group, we need law. It protects all of us from harm. The entire team must understand this. But maybe it wouldn't hurt to hear his side of the story before we freeze him! Rem... He raped me. No! I didn't do it! <laughs> Rem, why can't everyone just get along with each other? I suppose it's because people have many different ways of thinking. But even if we do make mistakes, we have the ability to do something about it and make better choices the next time. And if you keep your vision clear, you will see the future. What happens in our future is our own responsibility. Uh, marry you? Here. 
come on, you must be teasing. As soon as we're finished here, I'd like you to come to the bridge. The analysis should be in in just a little while. I made sure that Steve will never wake up again. I readjusted the freezer. I didn't mean for us to kill him! I guess now that means we're partners. What's wrong, Rem? The A-12 monitors. Somebody disconnected them. Rowan! It's her own fault. I had no choice. I helped her and then she betrayed me. I was only trying to protect her from Steve. Rowan, please don't. She even told me she loved me. There's simply no excuse. Rem, you do understand me. <gasps> oh, I see now. It had to be him. Because of him, Mary had to die. It was his fault. Uh, what are you talking about, Rowan? Please put the gun down. Rem, what's happening? Rem, Rem! He can't get away with it, that monster. I have to shoot him. Now get out of the way, Rem! No one has the right to take the life of another. You don't want to kill him. Now put it down. It's not too late. Stay! 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 Ah! Rowan! What are you doing? Something's broken inside me. I'm numb. I can't seem to stop. It's all right, Rowan. Rem! Get out of there! Rem! It's not too late to start over. Here. Please stay back, Rem. Don't make me shoot you! Why did you do that, Joey? If I hadn't, he would have shot you. I'm sorry, there was no other way. I knew, Rowan, he wouldn't shoot me. Please understand, I couldn't see that from the monitors. I had to decide quickly. If I hadn't... Rowan... Mary... Joey, I agree with you. I think you did exactly the right thing. Rowan went crazy, that's all you could do. That's what I thought. But what if Rem was right? Perhaps he wasn't going to shoot her. If that's true, what I did was a horrible mistake. You're just a human, like the rest of them. I know my choice is the right one. Altering ship's course program. <gasps> what is it? We're changing direction. Our course has been re-entered. What? Someone is sending orders to all of the ships. All systems are now operating on auto-lock mode. Oh my god, at this rate, the ships are going to crash on that planet. Apparently, Rowan had started up the orbital program. We have to evacuate. Where's Joey? He told me to get us to the escape pods. He said he'd try to save the ships. But what about all the sleeping people on board? We can't worry about that. We've got to get out of here. Rem, come on. We have to go to the pods. Warning. Warning. The ship is about to enter the atmosphere. Please proceed to the escape pods. Please proceed to the escape pods. Come on. We've got to hurry, Rem. A fight on a new land awaits them. We're not going to see it, we're going to create it. And if you keep your vision clear, you will see the future. What happens in our future is our own responsibility. Ram, what's the matter? Alex, help me. Give me strength. You two go on ahead. I don't understand what you mean. Why? I can't leave Joey here by himself. And I have to try to find a way to save the others. But the program is already running. You've got to come with us, Rem. Please don't leave us! I'm sorry, Vash. If Alex were still alive, I believe in my heart that he would do the same thing. Vash, take care of knives. Don't worry, Vash. Ha <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
I'll never understand humans. They're a total waste of life. To think they'd actually sacrifice themselves out of foolish sentiment for others, it's incomprehensible. I thought I'd let her live only because you were so attached to her. But now I see how truly imperfect she really was. It's a good thing she died. Don't say that! Their immigration is out of the question. That'd be like spreading pathogenic organisms across our healthy universe. You're saying you planned this? That's right. But don't worry, you and I will be fine. I made sure the plant ship will survive. After all, we need that to create our new home now, won't we, my dearest brother? Only ships carrying the humans will crash. Ah! Bring her back! Bring them back, you bastard! Oh! <laughs> all ships now commencing orbital correction. What? Reverse thrusters? That bitch actually did it. I'm sorry, Rem. Bash, take care of knives. Trust me, Rem. I will take care of him. Let us regard the fifth moon, shining down upon us from the skies, stained red with blood. And let us remember his name, his legend. To do so, you only need to look up. Like it or not, his legend is chiseled into the fifth moon, a permanent etching from a terrible past. The legend of Vash the Stampede, chiseled forever. And then the time comes, you only need tell of the tracks, which lead to the future. <laughs>